I'm Jordan Long and today you can see I don't have to have the lights on anyway so today I'm gonna talk about this one thing you know well it no longer happens anymore but it used to be an old thing well I know what I'm even talking about alright so you got folks who probably believe that Oh, why you don't clean your films? Why you don't shift your films? Folks that have this, all these <clears throat> things that they believe you should do. Well, I learned a long time ago that the haters out there, the ones that do not like your work, whatever kind of work it is, are never going to be happy with anything you do. They're always going to be shifting the goals and you're never going to meet their goals because they're always going to shift it on you. So I used to get haters that would say things like, oh, you need to shift your films. Well, would say I do that. Well, Cor, well, they're going to come up with something else that needs to be worked on. So you'll never meet their goals. And plus, they're in, and, and, and plus since the and, and ad, um, plus they don't like anything you do, so they're always going to shift the goals on you and they're going to cl and they're going to say oh they're helping you oh they're seeking to help you well first off you didn't ask for them to help you and two making fun of someone and putting them down and making up stuff about them is not helping anyone you know they believe that they're helping but the truth is they're actually making fun of you and putting you down and picking on you and stuff and they know that's what they're doing you know and then at the end they'll go throw something in there about oh well you need to do this this and this and if you do this this and this then they'll, then they'll like your films well first off they're always going to shift the goals on you so at the end of the day they're never going to be happy with whatever you're doing the web shooter will never be good enough for them. Uh, the lighting will never be good enough for them. Uh, <clears throat> your shifting or cleaning, whatever shifting and cleaning you do, will never be good enough for them. And it is what it is. You know? Now I'm going to talk about something else more good than that. So, there's this thing called Team keeping away now social is a French borrowed word and distance is a French borrowed word so the English word would be team keeping away now the belief of team keeping away is that you keep away from folks who got the illness and folks who don't got the illness because if you have the illness and you're not showing it you could give it to someone who actually will show it but the only way that you would know you had the illness, I don't really think there's any way that one would know if they weren't showing. I guess you would have to go and do one of those tests somehow, and then the test would tell you if you were a, if you had the illness, but you weren't showing it. But there is a downside to this too. It is hard. Well, it's move for you to keep away from someone, but it's probably harder to keep away from someone if you happen to be somewhere where there's a lot of folks, like grocery stores or whatever, or healers or whatever, you know, food shops or healing steads or whatever, even sick houses. Yeah, that is going to be hard. He's in with hand wear and cast wear on yourself too. So I guess you just seek the best you can do. And the one thing is, is that now every time someone sneezes or cough, even if it's smoke and cough or not, it gets shifted into, oh, it's the illness. <clears throat> It's, uh, uh oh, gotta keep away. 
Oh, it's only smoke or cough. I'm only clearing my throat. It's not the signs of the corona illness or the corona sickness. Wanting to jump from greeter to greeter. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you see, that is uh, unknown. And then other folks out there are going to say that all of the 50 irks are going to reopen up themselves again. They're still open, they're not closed. When they mean, re when they mean open again, they mean uh, letting all businesses start up again, not just the needed ones. And letting all folks be around in gatherings again. Even though I'm sure they probably going to tell everyone, still have hand wear on still have cast wear on they'll probably still tell folks that too but then comes the downside that there might be hot steads you know chunks of the irks or in chunks in the earldoms and the irks that got it bad now the only steads that may have gotten it bad happen to be like I don't know New York stead or Pittsburgh stead where it is hard to keep away from anyone and it's hard for others to keep away from others even when they're following the oversight which would be earnest it's an oversight it's not a law you know no one's going to put you under stop and put you in lockdown for not following it or not doing all those things but it's an oversight and mostly it's going to be the big steads that are going to be the hot steads for this illness unlike all smaller ones that are more open and don't have that many folks then they're not going to be so bad but they're always frightened about you know that they go oh you know if we you know if the steads open themselves up again for all businesses to run again and letting all folks be in gatherings again the the hot steads are just going to spill over to the good steads and so those steads or earldoms that didn't have the illness or sickness will get the illness and sickness it'll become more smoother for it the to go than it was before that's true but I'm sure they probably have some goals in mind to keep that from happening you know, you're probably right about that yeah I'm sure that they have goals how to stop that from happening they'll probably tell folks okay you can do what you want now but you but still follow the oversight of hand wear and caps wear before you go out and I'll still seek to keep away about about six feet away from everyone you know you can you know you can all be around and about now they'll probably say and I'll probably still you know tell you know about they'll probably still keep that on but as far as the hot steads go that's probably we're gonna be more harder on those are gonna probably be the ones where yeah you still can't do this you still can't do that you know they'll still have the oversight on them longer than the others but what do I know some folks think that it, some folks believe that it's nothing more than just the leadership fucking with them yeah there are actually folks who believe that the the land leadership the irks leadership the earldom leadership and the near leadership are fucking with them and the illness is either made up or if it's true it's not as bad as they make it out to be okay yeah the illness is bad there's a lot of fear striking going on about the illness that's true but it is bad so all these folks that are bitching at the land leader the irk leader the earldom leader and the burgermeister they're all they're doing and the near burgermeister all they're doing is first they're just putting themselves out there for the illness to go to them if they don't have it or if they have it they're not showing it and then give it to someone who does show it that's all they're doing 
and when they happen to be ill in some sick house somewhere, then they'll know that, yeah, Lucifer made this illness, the illness is bad, and if they only would have not done it, then they wouldn't have been in that bind or hang up. But I also know that God is going to beat this illness that Lucifer's made. You know? And if you think this is the only evil thing that Lucifer's doing and he's put the locks on everything else, that's not true. Lucifer's doing other evil shit right beside the illness. He's got his around windstorms going around again. He has shootings going on in Canada, a land that you very rarely, you don't really hear about things like that going on, but I guess there's always a first time for everything, sadly. But as far as the Onda Irks go, it's got its own downsides and upsides. But it is what it is, you know. Hey, I already talked about this illness, this sickness yesterday. And one more time, I'm going to say for end this film, I am not a mate of YouTube. I'm not a YouTube mate. I'm not making no income or trade work or gal. I'm not, I have no businesses backing me and affording me. I have no business wises doing the buying any time on my films or on my fairway. So I am not going to lose anything by talking about this. Which if, if you were a YouTube business mate, you might be in a bind for any one of those things. I'm Jordan Long, and I hope you like this film.